Hi, I'm CC, and welcome to another episode of 1.18 SMP. I am standing here next to the area I just built up in that time lapse, and uh, I really, really like it. It's a going to be an automatic villager farm. I've got four sections, all with different crops. So I got the carrots, potatoes, beetroot, and wheat. And then this house in the center. Uh, inside here is going to have a villager. And then a bunch of villagers are going to farm these and then throw crops into the center. But because of these fences, they'll fall and then land in hoppers once I actually build them. But to actually do that, I'm going to have to get some villagers. So, um, yeah, I've got loads of rails, got some mine carts, and I think there's a village basically just that directly this direction. So... I'm going to have to start building a bridge, and I'm going to get some blocks, that would be a good idea. It's going to be quite the long rail, but I'm going to use a furnace minecart instead of using uh, powered rails. Just one second, save on gold, but also because I kind of want to do some testing with furnace minecart. Just see how good it actually is. Like, is it actually a usable item, or is it just... Powered rails are better. There's got to be some. There's got to be some scenario where uh, the furnace minecart's actually useful. I'm just gonna try and beeline this rail. Um, I don't actually know exactly where the village is, but I'm pretty sure it's just this general direction. I'd rather have as little curves as possible. You know the Mr. Bean movie, where he just walks in a straight line following the compass. Kind of what I feel like right now. Doesn't matter what's in the way, I'll find a way over it. And uh, talking about that, I think there's a mountain coming up once I get through this tree. <laughs> Wait, what's going on with this tree? Why is this tree so thick? It's, look at this. It's, it's so wide. Oh, it's it's a big tree and a small tree that happen to spawn next to each other. So this side makes it look really thick, but on this side it's like, oh yeah, it's normal. <laughs> oh, hello. I could just move the rail around the tree, but no, I must get rid of the trees. And In industry comes first. Here's the, the fun bit of the mountain. Uh, probably best if I go over it. Ah, I see. There's a bit of a sheer drop here. <laughs> Be a bit careful going over this. I'm going to get on top of this hill and see if I can spot the village from above. I think I should be getting... There it is. Okay, so... If I keep going to about there and then just do a right turn, that'll save me having to bend it too much. And we are here! Hello! Hello, villagers. I've come to kidnap some of you. Let's see. Who should I take? You look mighty fine, but you've already got a job. I don't know if that would cause an issue. Um, how do I move these guys? I should probably make a boat to get them close to the minecart, and then I can put them in back. So that's, yeah, that's probably the the best idea. So, boat. Hey, fellas, get in the boat. I'm gonna kidnap your friend right in front of you. Bye. I'm going to catch two, just two for now. Um, okay, so how am I going to do this? I break the boat and then push him into the minecart. Oh, I got the wrong one, but uh, if you want to come along, I'm not going to say no. No, I'm going to say no to you leaving though. Come back. No. Go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back. 
Come on, keep going. Down you go. No, not that side. Actually, fine. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then now I just need to minecart furnace. Cool. I get into this. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Uh, what the f what? Um, I'm not gonna question it. <laughs> wow, you get a lot of speed from furnace minecarts. Look at this! <laughs> oh. Ugh, come on, almost. How come the other guys just went for miles and I'm just having some real trouble? Over the bridge. Oh god, is my tr is my cart gonna die? On okay, it didn't. Oh oh god, I'm stuck on the bridge. Oh, uh, hello guys. They got very far without a single powered rail. And where's the uh, furnace minecart? Oh, there it is. It's coming. I can't tell if the other guy is just ahead of him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I don't. Hey, the furnace mine cart is actually a lot more useful than I thought it was. My only issue with it is, it just gets left behind, and like you can't get extra boost until it catches up with you. But that was actually a lot more painless than I expected. But I'm gonna have to leave you guys because I want to get some more villagers. Because I can theoretically just uh, breed them, but at the same time, it's like why would I when I can just go steal more? Hello. Okay, uh, I think I'm just going to leave it at five villagers for now. Uh, but first, before I start to move these guys into here... Before I move these guys into here, uh, I'm going to probably make them a house somewhere. Uh, actually give them some protection. I think I might just clear out this bit here and put a house here. It'd be very flat, this area, but at the same time, uh, I don't care. Okay, and now I just need to get these guys inside there. Which, uh, easier said than done. Maybe best if I actually get rid of all this stuff and just use the boats to move them. Got my got my boys in here, and then what I do is put a trapdoor there, and now they can't escape. Well, the babies can. Uh, oh, I didn't hear about that. Uh, am I getting iron door for this place? Just to stop that from happening. Oh, you really want to work, don't you? No, no, no! Don't go over there! Don't go over there! Oh, what are you doing? Oh, oh God! Get in the bloody boat! Oh, get back here! Why? Why are you here? There's no reason. Okay. Oh, come on. Get back in the key. Back in the boat. You. You. Then I'm gonna just do this for now. Uh, I'm gonna go get myself an iron door. That was the weirdest way I've ever installed a door. But, okay, it's installed. I have no way out. Okay. So these guys should start breeding now. I remember how biology class worked. Come on. There you go. Okay, great. Biology class has not failed me. So I think I'm just going to go AFK here for a bit. Get some villagers piled up while I do some editing or something. And then we'll carry on with the, the other thing. Uh, the, the farm area. Okay. I went AFK for a while, about half an hour, 
and uh, I've got quite a few more villagers now. So I think uh, I am able to start. Uh, 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 there we go. Got it. Uh, able to start filling up this area here. But to do that, I'm going to have to get one villager in the centre, which I think I want to do first. Good. Do. Okay, uh, now I just need to do that, that, that. And then I'm going to have to drop the guy down through this hole here. But I didn't actually make an easy way of getting up there. Okay, I've, I wonder, could I... I'm going to get these out one at a time. I, I put like a minecart. No, that's not gonna work. Okay. Um. Oh. Can I just let one of you guys out. Probably not the easiest way of doing this. Okay. Out. Out. Great. Get in the minecart. Got him. Okay. And then can I just push him up myself? Come on, come on, there you go. There you go. That was more painless than I thought it was going to be. Well, not finished yet. Get you into... Get in here. Great. I think that's fine. I don't think I need to have them too specific. Like, it doesn't need to be, like, pixel perfect placement. It's just... As long as it's in that general area, it should work. Except this, uh... If I broke. Great. And then now I just need to do that four more times for each of the um, a, uh, farms. I just forgot words. Up you go. Okay. You can fall off. Nice. So you should become a farmer. I'm going to break this and replace it just to make sure no one else has it. Like their, as their block. He should turn into a farmer. So I think it's not the right time in the day for it. <laughs> and, oh, get in the bloody door. Get out my house. Okay, great, 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 great. Get in the... My God, fantastic. That guy was pretty painless to get out, but I can't, I can't, oh, never mind, wait, no, stop it, by the way, I can't press the button with you there, how are they getting back through the, what, what is this phasing, what is this? Oh, I should really put the minecart through there. There's probably easier ways of doing this, but can you get out the way of the button? Thank you. Okay, I've got the minecart there. So now if I push them out, they should just go straight into the minecart. If they don't spite me. Right, go, go. No, no. Get out of the blood. Oh, my God. Okay. He's... No, no. I will stand here and guard this land. The holy land is ours. No, no, no. <laughs> Get through the bloody door. Yes. Sheer will and determination trumps all. I'm gonna eat a potato out of spite. Go, 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 go. Okay. You're in the door. You're in the door. You're halfway there. You're halfway there. Nope, 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 no. Nope. Yes, push him out. Push him out. Yeah. A, a victim from the tribe. No. No. Go. Go. Yes. Get in. You're fruit. You're fruit. You're fruit. You're fruit. You're fruit. And you're in the cart. Oh, would you look at that? Do you want to go farm some tatties? Uh, nope. There we go. Hey. Uh, oh, I have just realized something that might cause a problem. Some of these guys will have carrots in their inventory from breeding. And they're going to plant them. Okay, well this hasn't worked so far. There's no items in the hopper, so either he's picked them up, or they haven't thrown anything yet. We'll have to just watch with great interest to see if 
this actually functions. But what I can do is leave this running for a while while I do some other stuff. And the bakery slash food place is done. I've, uh, I really like this design, though I had some trouble fitting it in here. Uh, I didn't realise how big the, the room, or the, uh, I didn't realise how big it was when I designed it. It looked tiny, but then, obviously I didn't design it to be on a, a cliff. So I had, what I actually did was I flipped it from in the, uh, creative test what I did. Uh, so yeah, originally this was on the right hand side, but I like it this way better, so it's fine. But uh, inside, basic, just interior, got myself a little counter, got uh, shelves, and got my storage here, so potatoes, carrots, beetroot, and bread. Um, and then any excess will get composted, though that won't happen for a while. Bread can't be, but I get such little amounts of it that that is, shouldn't be an issue. Um, got this little market stall outside, probably won't use it for anything, and then I got this little, uh, this, this bit here is where the items get sorted. So, if I break through there, it's got like item sorters, got myself a rail system. So I'm going to try and use, uh, oh, rails as much as I can, because I really like rails, and I want to get, I want to use minecarts more. And uh, it just goes down underground. Oh, there it is. Oh, down you go. Where over here, this is underneath the farm. I've got this bit here, which is like a little I basic item loader. Uh, usually have a more... This isn't actually a perfect design. Like, if somehow this hopper got full and the chest stayed full, it would just lock the uh, minecart here. But that's pretty much impossible, because you only get like a few items each time anyway, so... Oh yeah, also had an issue where the villagers were breeding be between the walls. So, like here, this one and this one would sort of cozy up here and keep trying to throw food back and forth to each other. Um, in an attempt to like breed. So I had to thick the wall up, thicken up the wall a bit. I don't know if this will fix the issue or not. We'll have to see. But also, one issue I found is that somehow they're getting holds of other seed types, and I don't know how. So now, uh, I want to sleep because it is very wet. Now this is a bit of a change of scenery, but I'm over here at Kieran's place because I want to take a break from my area, and Kieran has been having trouble with building a mountain. Uh, he is, this is his area called Fort Bricks, I believe. Uh, it's based on Fort Briggs from Full Metal Alchemist, and I think it looks really cool so far. But he has been trying to build up a mount on the side, and he's been hating it. So, he asked if I could help him out, and I said, sure. So, I, I've never actually built a snow mountain before. I've made, uh, like, big hills and cliffs, but snow mountain's new, but I wanted to give it a go. And see if I can help just alleviate some of uh, his problems but before I do that I need to get more snow probably but with the mountain he said that he wants it to be I don't know why I move forward with the mountain he said he kind of just wants it to look not symmetrical but more uh, like even and he wants it he wants us to go above the wall but not like too far above the wall. Probably about the same height as that, maybe a bit taller. Uh, and 
Yeah, so the issues he's been having so far seems to be based around sharp, jagged angles from what he told me. He doesn't like the... Because this one here is natural. This is a natural hill and it's a bit more cascady. Well, this one sort of has like ledges, so I'm going to try and work them out and see how well that goes. Again, not super well versed in this, but I'm more well versed than he is, so he's letting me handle it. <laughs> Okay, so time to start a time lapse, I guess. And the hill is completed, or at least uh, primarily shaped for him so he can finish off his details and all that jazz if he wants to. Um, he's actually currently up there doing some pillars. Uh, quite fun to watch. But yep, the, uh, the hill's done. And I think that's what I'm going to call this episode. I've, probably got, I've got more work to do at my base in terms of terraforming and stuff, but I think I'm all terraformed out. Right now, but this definitely looks a lot better than it was before, and Kieran is very happy with me. He's actually paid me uh, 35 diamonds for it, which is... I was going to do it for free, but I'm not going to say no to diamonds. But, uh, during the process, I did lose a salt touch shovel, so I'm going to have to try and get uh, that back. But I now have more diamonds... Uh, well, I had zero times before, and now I have 35, so that is fantastic. And I think... Uh, gonna call the episode here so i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you next time bye <laughs>